welcome back to online lectures we are discussing topics enzymology of replication types of the replication proof of the replication in the last sessions we discussed about replication what is replication what is unidirectional replication and bidirectional mode of the replication in this session we are going to discuss about rolling circuit mode of dna replication see what is rolling circuit mode of dna replication you see in the last sessions we discussed that replication of linear dna molecules are uni and bidirectional mode of replications in this session the rolling circuit mode of dna replication can be seen in the prokaryotes in bacteria while the dna replicates through rolling circuit mode the rotation of the replication around the dna thereby known as rolling circuit mode of dna replication here we can take an example of escherichia coli in which plasmid known as f factor can be transferred to f minus cells through the mechanism of rolling circuit mode of replication so here the double stranded circular dna undergoes replication and a single copy of dna molecule transferred to escherichia coli bacterium in that cells now the single dna molecule undergoes replication and forms double stranded dna so now we will see how this replication occurs the general machinery we know that the enzymes required as the same dna polymerases helicases single strand binding proteins and topoisomerases so the synthesis mechanism also say the direction of the synthesis is 5 prime to 3 prime direction here during the rolling circuit mode of the replication the 3 prime hydroxyl group is readily available to enzyme dna polymerase 3 so without having any primer it can replicate and synthesizes new copy of the dna on the circular template dna molecule what are the stages involved in the rolling circuit mode of dna replication there are of initiation elongation and termination coming to initiation that means how this covalently closed double stranded dna involves in the initiation of the dna replication to which the dna first super coils must be removed with the help of topo isomerase what is the function of the topo isomerase the function of topo isomerase is to release the strain in the covalently closed circular dna to remove the stress and forms the negative super coils so in such a way the strain is removed and it helps the helicase enzyme to move along this closed dna molecule to separate the two dna strands here it requires ATP to break down the covalently closed DNA molecule. So here the one more protein known as REC A protein, which is involved in the formation of nick on the surface of the covalently closed DNA molecule. Coming to introduction of rolling circuit DNA replication. Rolling circuit replication describes a process of unidirectional nucleic acid replication that can rapidly synthesize multiple copies of circular molecules of DNA or RNA, such as plasmids, the genome of bacteriophages, and the circular RNA genome of viroids, 
some eukaryotic viruses also replicate their DNA via the rolling circle mechanism. Usually, under the name rolling circle amplification, the mechanism is also widely used in the laboratory in molecular biology research and in nanotechnology. Coming to initiation, rolling circle mode initiates by the production of nick on one of the two strands producing free 3 prime hydroxyl group and 5 prime ends by the action of helicase, topoisomerase and single stranded binding proteins. So here the nick is formed by the A protein and followed by the separation of the strands with the help of helicase and topoisomerase unwinds the supercoils and facilitates the helicase engine to move along the phosphodiester bonds and single strand binding proteins which binds to the separated strands and prevents the re-annealing of the strands. In such a way, 3' hydroxy group is readily available to the DNA polymerase engine to initiate the synthesis of the DNA while the synthesis is initiated by using the inside circle of the DNA as template and the surrounded circle, 5' phosphate circle is slowly displacing from this circle. For elongation, the RNA polymerase 3 binds to the 3' hydroxyl group of broken strand using the unbroken strand as a template. The polymerase will start to move in a circle for elongation, due to which it is named as rolling circuit model. As the elongation proceeds, the 5' end will be displaced and will grow out like a weaving thread. Here you can see in this picture. 3' hydroxyl group and 5' phosphate. While the synthesis is initiated by the DNA polymerase 3, because the readily 3' hydroxyl group is available in this replication, so without any help of the RNA primer, DNA polymerase starts synthesis on the unbroken complex strand and the single strand is slowly displacing from this double filter circular DNA molecule as a thread. Coming to termination, at the point of termination, the linear DNA molecule is cleaved from the circuit, resulting in a double-stranded circular DNA molecule and a single-stranded linear DNA molecule. The linear single-stranded molecule is circularized by the action of ligase and then replication to double-stranded circular plasmid molecule. Here you can see the picture, a nick is formed, DNA synthesis initiates and the outer circle of the DNA displaces as a thread and this becomes a circularized and the nick is sealed by the ligase engine produces a single strand covalently closed circular DNA on which double stranded DNA is synthesized on which another DNA molecule is synthesized and becomes double stranded circular DNA molecule. We can see rolling circle mode of replication in Escherichia coli bacteria where the two bacteria, one is positive for F factor, another one is a negative for F factor. Positive one is known as donor and negative one is known as F minus cell. When a conjugation tube is formed during the mating of these bacteria, a nick is formed on the F factor, allows the formation of 3' hydroxyl group and 5' phosphate group. And the 5' phosphate displacing strand through the cytoplasmic tube reaches the F minus cell and within the F plus cell, the 3' hydroxyl group allows the synthesis of the DNA on the template strand and the displacing strand gradually reaches the F minus cell and circularized. Now the circularized single stranded DNA molecule in the F minus cell undergoes replication and becomes the double stranded circular DNA molecule. So thereby in such a way, F factor transfers from donor to recipient through rolling circle mode of replication. Here F minus cells becomes F plus cells by this mechanism of the replication. In this image, the DNA from a bacterium has been gently released from the cell. Most of the DNA is from the bacterial chromosome, but small circular DNA molecules called plasmids also exist. For many plasmids, replication is not tied to chromosomal replication.
Many plasmids replicate autonomously by a method called rolling circle replication. In rolling circle replication, a replication initiator protein called REP-A binds to a section of the double-stranded DNA called the origin of replication, or ORI. REP-A is encoded by a plasmid gene. REP-A nicks one strand of the DNA and holds on to the five prime end of the strand. The three prime end, with its free hydroxyl group, serves as a primer for a host DNA polymerase to begin to replicate the intact complementary strand. The REP-A initiator protein recruits a helicase that unwinds the DNA. As the DNA unwinds, it becomes coated by single-strand DNA binding proteins. As replication proceeds, the nicked strand, which continues to be covered with single-strand DNA binding proteins, progressively peels off until replication of the intact strand is complete. The two ends of the nicked single strand are rejoined by the REP-A protein and released. DNA ligase seals the nick in the double-stranded molecule. The single-stranded DNA can now be replicated. A region of the DNA becomes looped, allowing RNA polymerase access to the DNA to form a primer. Host DNA polymerases use the primer as a starting point for the synthesis of DNA. Finally, DNA ligase seals the remaining NIC, resulting in a double-stranded plasmid. Each of these plasmids can undergo replication again by the same method.